the malevolent cult Fiegel Sestimus, or the Guardians of Truth, worshippers of Palgea, the God of Destruction. In preparation for the day when all will be cleansed, the group performed horrific ceremonies and experiments in underground shrines across the globe. In 1583, which the group calls the Year of Saturn's Crimson Serpent, they were able to make contact for the first time with Palgea the Executioner. Deliver the Sword of Judgment, Soul Edge, to my altar. Only then can the purification begin. Upon hearing this revelation, High Priest Kunpetku devoted himself to the nefarious forbidden arts in order to create a golem of fearsome power. Now, Astaroth, a warrior forged by human hands for the sake of claiming Soul Edge, is nearing his awakening. Ista el tuk palgria el ku munzia tu dadia ela uvia astora lote. Are you certain this is a good idea, Your Grace? Do not fear. This Golem of Astaroth is embedded with a special core bestowed upon us by the Great One himself. It will bring Soul Age to Fiegel Sestimus. He moves. Are we ready? Yes, I shall bring the Chimeras now. The voice of care. Where is I? Feel rage! Hmm. Quite good physicality for a human experiment. But your mind is still crude. Even if you do obtain Soul Edge, it will enslave you. On Ares' request, I shall grant you aid this once. Possess the memories of various fallen warriors. Enemies approach. Show me you can destroy all who challenge you. Oh boy, here we go. Oh! What? Oh, bullshit. Nice. I could have gotten that. I could have gotten that bullshit. Come over here, Miss Elizabeth, man. Quick, you bad. Ooh. Ooh. Now remember, I saw it's slow, but he has hard. Quick, he's back! Hey! Bye, Miss Elizabeth, man. Now remember, I saw it's slow, but he has really hard. He's a good grappler, and he has weight. What the? Another one? Looks like me! I don't appreciate that. Ooh! He's so much smaller than me. Come over here, buddy. Break your back! Ooh! 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 God fucking damn it, as always. Fuck you, buddy. Gotta do my critical aid and I can't do it. Fuck you, buddy. Hey! Oh, oh. Every time I try to do it, every time I get interrupted. So goddamn irritating. <laughs> I could get used to this. Just look at me go. You are a success. Your master, the war god Ares. Deserves your thanks for bestowing upon you such wisdom and skill. A war god? So he is my master. Splendid. The Chimeras were swatted like flies. Do 
you see? This is what my research has brought us. I am worthy of a god. This human doesn't know his place. Should I kill him? I, the High Priest Kunpetku, ruler of Mother Earth, command you! O oh, Astaroth, claim Soul Edge and present it to Palgea the Executioner. All shall know the glory of Kunpetku and Figo Sustamus! This fool will pay for ordering me around. But for now, our objectives are the same. I'll use him to my advantage. I am ready, Kunpeku, my lord. Ooh, here we go, guys. So we are playing as Asroth, the big boy in Soul Calibur. And as I was saying before, he is pretty big in math, as you can see. He hits hard, and he has a lot of range, but he's pretty slow. So I gotta make... Ooh, <coughs> excuse me. I gotta make my move a little bit more... Well, I say more careful, because if I miss one move, they can just easily sidestep. And they can hit me with a counter. That's the thing I don't like playing as Astrov in the older Soul Calibur game because it's just he's too slow. But if you get the rhythm of his movements and his combat, then you can absolutely wreck people. Like he hits hard. He's he's also a good grappler too. So he has all kinds of different grappling you can do. A running grappling throw as well. You can tackle people, throw them around, etc. Like, he's a, he's a beast. He's not to be messed with, so you best be careful when he lands a hit on it, because he can easily land up another combo, and you can easily lose half your health. So that's bear that in mind. So other than that, guys, let's get this started. Asawaf Chapter 2, Revolt of the Heretic. Under Kupat, whose orders, Asawaf made his way straight to Europe with an army of lizardmen and tall half-men, half beasts half were spliced together by the cock. With the memory of numerous warriors gustily faced bestowed upon him by Kira, the agent of death, Asaw found it easy to follow the sin of death expelled by Soul Edge. A mission to get a sword? Talk about boring. Okay, wake up. I'm yawning too much. I need to see action. <laughs> You too, huh? Your blood must be pumping hard from keeping all those lizards in line, hmm? This is as far as you go, you pitiful drones! That opportunist Kunpetku cannot be trusted to lead the sect. County Palk, priest of Mars, has ordered the cleansing to begin. Likewise, Kelney Polk, priest of Venus, says... Silence already! I don't care about squabbles between lonely worms! Oh boy, here we go. Ooh! God damn it. Like... If you block a lot, then at, at that point... I might as well grab him. Dude, stop rolling. Jeez, man. Get out of my face. Bye! <laughs> That's in my ass on, man. He's slow. He did block the light uh, like that. Then you just literally got to grab him. Like that. Ooh, got me mid here, motherfucker. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, buddy. Ooh! Sidestep. Cause I don't trust it. Bye! Oh. Sidestep, always sidestep out of the edge. Cause you never know, the air could be a huge dick. Ooh! Got a death on the mail. Good! Hey! Ooh! Ow! Stop sidestepping, motherfucker! Jesus Christ! He on blocking too. That doesn't help. God damn it! Yeah, my face. 
All right, there we go. Grab his ass. There we go. Ooh. Hey. And the finale. Ooh. <laughs> Good. You're quiet now. Hey. All right. Damn, Kun Petku. Yeah. Of all the stupid last words. <laughs> Bunch of idiots. Still, that yell was kind of amusing. It's a shame a worm's dying scream can only be heard once. <laughs> Tell me this, Kerr. Is Ares obsessed with cleaning? Even amongst the gods, he is renowned for his cleanliness. You could learn a lot from him. However, you should focus on your goal. <laughs> I like this one. Straight to the point. <laughs> I shall take care of all the rubbish you collect. It should have its uses. There we go, chapter 3, the will of the gods. Clinton Kupaku's enemy without mercy as he went. Asshole continued on his way, the set of death growing stronger all the time. Upon reaching Europe, he discovered that the genesis of all this chaos was a being by the name of Nightmare. Nightmare caused all this destruction? How? dare he go so far? How dare he? There's nothing left for me to kill! We have you now, you abominations! Your evil ends here! Ares, god of war! Grant us your protection! God of war? Now you've really made me mad! You're gonna wish I just killed you! Oh! There we go, boy! Looks like there's one guy. He's not gonna last too long, though. Ooh! Stop. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Dead already. Oh, <laughs> damn, son. Their weapons and moves remind me of yours. Not that it matters. <laughs> All right, on to nightmare. <laughs> Say, don't you? Astute as ever, Astaroth, for various reasons. Those humans were also blessed with the power of your master, Ares. <laughs> Seems like even war gods have a lot on their plates. Still, it's none of my concern. As long as I get to run wild. Chapter 4, Master of the Cursed Sword. Though irritated by the whims of the gods, Astral finally entered Nightmare's dilapidated castle. The smell of death was overwhelming. Before he knew it, he was surrounded by a group of twisted creatures and the Azura Knight himself, who withered in a massive sword with a single eye. to run, so kindly just offer your soul to our leader. So this is why rumors surrounding the castle don't spread, despite the endless massacres. Correct. Dead men tell no tales. However, if you were to join the... <laughs> You win 
insignificant maggot. I'll crush your head with my bare hands. Hey, lizard brains, hold off. Oh, here we go. Hey! Hey! Cleaning time! Hey! Yeah, my face. Uh oh. Ooh. I said them, bro. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Didn't expect that. Ooh. <laughs> so we got two more opponents. Uh, one more, actually. We might fight Nightmare. I highly doubt it, though. Yep, it's another one. Hey. Ow. Get out of my face. Don't grab me. I did back really. Oh, oh. Ooh. Bye. Throw his ass out. Ooh. Uh, hit him with another one. Ooh. Let's not hit him. Yep. Got him. Hey. Oh, oh. Off to the finale. Ooh. speaks the truth. At present, Soul Edge is at half its usual power. Ares would not be happy receiving it in such a state. Okay. I'll play your game. As a token of my gratitude, I shall bestow upon each of you a title. Astroth. Shall be sinister sable. Lizard man, you shall be base vert. More? Thanks? Oh, here we go. Chapter 5 The Cult Suspicious Deepened. Soul Edge was incomplete and not at all fit for his master. After I summarized, to restore the sword back to full strength, he would have to cooperate with Nightmare for the time being. Besides, if worse come to worse, Asaf could kill him in his sleep at any time. However, the malevolent cult saw Asaf as having become too competent and dispatched someone to deal with him. Uh oh! Don't tell me you're gonna betray Lord Kunpeku. Do not be ridiculous. We were charged with finding and claiming the sword's soul. The High Priest told me to claim Soul Edge. So then, you defy me. That is the same as defying Kunpeku. <laughs> what are you? Unhand me! <laughs> what the High Priest wills, Palgea wills too. So it is you who have defied our god and must die. <laughs> anyway, send the message to prepare more troops. I don't care if they're golems, lizards, or automatons. <laughs> yes, sir! It's almost time to strike. If I could just crush that Brett Killick. <laughs> and Ivy. Soul Edge should get pretty full. <laughs> Chapter 
Chapter 6, A Banquet of Blood. Since the Soul Edge was near completion, Asaf prepared for his rebellion. While Lion Witten owes St. Heisman Castle for a high quality soul to weep, he sends a tiny slither of death's aura, so slight as to be imperceptible to humans. Who could that be? Are you aware that someone has taken the hidden path? Of course. They carry a similar odor to that brat. There's no point in hiding. Your stench gives you away. You smell like a rotting carcass in a ditch! Blast. I know what you're thinking. Most react the same way. He looks strong, but he's probably slow and stupid. I can't describe how good it feels to defy expectations! I admit, I am shocked. You both have a way with words and smells. <laughs> As I'm in a good mood, I'll overlook your insolence. But... You reek of one modified by human hands, the most repugnant of odors to me. I can't let Nightmare feast on rotten garbage! Battle 1. Alright, let's go. I gotta be careful, Guaf is a fast motherfucker. Ooh, got me. He's a lot faster than me. That's a damn body squat. He's really fucking fast. Woo. Hey. Hey. Off we go. Ooh. 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 God damn it. Taking my ass. Woo! Hey! Really? Uh oh. God damn it! Get out of my face, go! Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit No! Oh, gonna be a little bit tricky. What? Okay. Get out of here. Hey. Woo. I do like nothing to him. No damage whatsoever. Ooh! 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 How you do those kicks? Ooh! Oh, stop on you, motherfucker! <laughs> oh! Call it swing this, bitch! Ooh! I see you're a threat. I am a threat! Ooh! Yeah. Hey! Ow! Ow! Cleaning time! Dad, he keeps sidestepping too! Ooh! Hey! Alright, let's go, beast mode! Ooh! Ooh! Hey! Oh, that spin! Uh oh, I might grab it. No, I missed! God damn it! Ugh. Ooh! Ooh! Out of my face, bro. Yep! Absolutely red glow. Okay. What now? <laughs> Still trying to think of a way out. You do realize I can smell the odor of others in this castle too. As long as I'm here, you're never getting through. <sighs> ah, wriggle, you worm! As long as the God of War protects me, I'm indestructible! All who defy me shall feel his divine wrath! <laughs> this
This day can't get any better. I'm gonna kill both Nightmare and that loathsome woman. Then I will present Ares with the fully resurrected Soul Edge. And... Once that's over, I'll... Something wrong? You appear quite rattled. Enough! It's, it's nothing. nothing. First, I'm gonna deal with Ivy. Damn it! Now my day's utterly ruined! Well, that was a lame freaking ending for Asra's story. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. That is lame. 